Well, happy Sunday. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to have services today, some crazy icy weather, and we had to cancel. Uh, but I wanted to make sure you knew about a couple of things that are happening here at Westside, even though we couldn't be here together. So I hope you're at home, you're safe, and you're warm, cozying up today uh, in light of this winter storm. Uh, but here, let me highlight a couple of things. First off, we are really excited. Our Christmas Eve celebration services are scheduled. Uh, December 24th, we're having a service at 3 and at 5, and we really hope that you'll join us, make this part of your Christmas celebrations, uh, and I really hope that you'll invite some people to be with you. So maybe you've been thinking about that and you wonder, who should I invite? Well, that's a great question. Why not start with some family and friends, but branch out from there, your neighbors, maybe some of uh, your kids' friends and their families, uh, ask them to be part of your tradition and bring them with you. Maybe it's even the barista at the Starbucks that you're at each and every week, um, and uh, so we want to love you to head to our website, westsidehamilton.com, uh, where you can start to reserve your seats. That's really important for either our 3 o'clock or our 5 o'clock service for you, your family, and your friends so that we know who to expect uh, and how many to expect, and we would just want to plan the most that we can for you. So make sure you go to our website, start thinking about who you can invite, uh, and next week um, we will have some invite cards ready for you to take uh, to those people, um, and so... So we hope that you will make sure that you're here and bring some people with you. This is going to be such a great time to celebrate Christmas uh, and just proclaim the good news of Jesus. Second thing I want to let you know of, we have kicked off our Better Together Christmas fundraising campaign. And there are some amazing projects that we want to fund this Christmas all throughout the month of December. Starting right now, you can donate. Uh, there's three projects that we want to fund. One is Better Environments. We want to continue to renovate uh, this building this year we would like to move our offices from our main floor to downstairs, which will pave the way for us uh, to really make an amazing community space on our main floor and eventually work our way towards an accessible washroom, which is so important for those who have accessibility issues. And so that's one project we want to work on. The next is better outreach. I've already talked about our Christmas Eve services. This is one of the best times all year we have to be able to invite people to come in and hear about Jesus. And so this Christmas Eve, we want to go all out and we want to spend uh, a little bit more intentionality reaching out to places like Dundas and Ancaster and making sure that when people come, this is just an incredible experience for them so that we can invite them back in January. And then finally, Better Communities. We partnered last year with an organization called Food for Kids. And Food for Kids makes sure that uh, children who rely on school programs to make sure that they have food day to day also go home on the weekends and have a backpack filled with food so that they have nutritional food uh, at home all weekend uh, and make sure that they have enough. And so last year, we saw some incredible things. There was a wait list of around 90 kids just here in Hamilton, and uh, we were able to be part of them completely eliminating that wait list. And that was such an incredible moment, and we're so glad that we could be part of it in just our community coming together and uh, showing up for these kids. This year, we want to partner with Food for Kids again, and uh, they have added four schools with about 100 new kids that we need to make sure are funded so that they can continue to do that. They've also uh, increased and expanded into a high school program. And again, there's four schools that they're going into, and they are reaching a, a group of high school students uh, who are at high risk for homelessness and experiencing homelessness and want to make sure that their basic needs are met and that they're fed as well. And so that's what is on their wish list this Christmas to make sure that those programs can be funded. And we want to be part of it and making sure that no child in our city goes hungry. And so uh, those three projects are going to cost us $30,000, and we would love for you to prayerfully consider what you could give. And uh, today, maybe you're going to come today uh, ready to make a donation, so we want to let you know that uh, we're ready for you, and you can give. Even though you couldn't be here on person, you can give online. Uh, just use giving type uh, Christmas when you go through our website and give there. Um, and of course, uh, we'll be ready next week if you want to continue to give in person uh, on Sunday. We'll be here and uh, you can make sure that you make your donation here in person if that's a better way for you as well. But we're just really excited for what God is going to do uh, this Christmas season through these amazing projects and beyond to see his impact in our city, in our community, in our church. And so thank you so much for participating in that, for giving sacrificially uh, as many of you do. 
you, and uh, we'll look forward to updating you uh, as we go along. So again, uh, it's unfortunate we couldn't be together on Sunday, but we uh, hope that you are safe and cozy and enjoying some time, maybe with a family today, indoors as we weather the storm, and we can't wait to see you next Sunday back at our regular times here at Westside.